Known as the female Bruce Lee, Juju Chan Sito takes the phrase multi-talented to new heights. The martial artist, actress, author, musician, and former beauty queen can currently be seen in the new movie, Hollow Point. Take a look. Last time I remembered, you're still a cop, right, Amanda? I'm not a cop. I'm a scout. If we don't have intel, we got nothing. Detective Brian is a good cop, but he's an idealist. I'm a realist. Yeah, all right. I get it. Even if Trigger goes down, it's for killing a snitch, not for what he did to your wife and daughter. Ask yourself, is that really justice? Set up mm -hmm. for folks who may not know, because, whoa, this <laughs> There's a lot of action in this one. Set up the story for us and tell us what it's about. In the film, I played a police detective called Amanda Ray. She and her retired ex-partner, Damien, played by Michael Pere, and a wealthy lawyer, Hank, played by Luke Goss. We are a secret vigilante group. And um, I think Amanda, my character, sees right and wrong more in black and white. And to her... The law gets in the way of things. So she's willing to take shortcuts and risks to right wrongs. And even though her heart can go out to those who are weak and need help, she shows no mercy to people who do wrong things to others. A lot of action there. She's a fighter. She can, you know, she can go. I love working with the uh, fight choreographer, the action director and the stunt team to come up with like cool moves yeah. That makes sense for my character and for um, the environment. I love using things in the around environment to help with the fight. For the fights in Hollow Point, I'm facing off with some gang members. So uh, we don't really have a lot of stuff to use to play around. So it's really like kicking punches and also using grappling work. And I, I throw a lot of cool moves and kicks and, and rolls and stuff like that to make it look cooler. I mean, this is the first time I actually help choreograph my own action scene and I'm very happy to have this opportunity because mm -hmm. I've worked in a lot of action films before and all the time is things like being put together already and then I maybe modify a little bit so it was fun putting this all together Juju means you're doing your own stunts that has to come with some injuries did you sustain any injuries on this movie and what's the biggest injury that you had thus far in your acting career for this movie luckily um I only got a little bit of bruises, but it's like normal for me. But the biggest injury, uh, one is when I was filming Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Sword of Destiny, I almost lost my eye, this eye. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um, another actress, she just, when she uh, swung her sword, it hit my eye. Um, oh my God. Yeah, it happens. And yeah. I end up with like a huge, like swelling eye. I thought I was going to go blind, um, Ooh, but I cool. actually couldn't see for 10 days. And then the swell just was slowly disappeared and, and I was okay. Luckily, I didn't have any long-term damage. <laughs> yeah, and that's good. The film I just finished, I also got, you see here, <laughs> there's oh, a yeah. scar. <laughs> yeah, because uh, when we were filming my fight scene and then um, I actually hit the, the camera, the steady cam was moving really close to me when I was fighting. And then when I turned, it just hit right into oh, the camera. Yeah, <laughs> things happen when you're shooting action films. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure they do. And, you know, for a lot of folks who do action, you know, there, there are those stunt doubles it, with a lot mm -hmm. of folks. But, I mean, you're doing your own thing in there. So injuries do happen. Let's yeah. also talk about the movie Jiu-Jitsu. Mm -hmm. Us Jiu-Jitsu fighter, Nicolas Cage, me, Tony Ja, Frank Grillo, we help defending the Earth by the invasion of the aliens coming over to the world to challenge the jiu-jitsu fighter. It's a fun sci-fi action film. The title is jiu-jitsu, but we don't only use jiu-jitsu as the moves uh, to a style to fight. We actually also combine like different weapons and different styles and yeah. cool stuff for it. Yeah. <laughs> it looks cool. It really does. And you were just in Thailand. I think you were there working on Wu Assassin's Fist of Vengeance. Yeah. This is following up to the first season. So where do things pick up for folks who are following this? This uh, first season at the end, actually my character Zan became like 
the main main villain <laughs> of the whole series. So uh, I can't really tell you guys too much about the story, <laughs> but uh, the whole movie right now, Fistful of Vengeance, is kind of a continuation from where we left off. In the series, well, I want to let everybody know that Hollow Point is available on video on demand and digital. Juju, thank you. So good to talk to you. Thank you. Me too.